Hi everybody, it's I Sawyer from here. I know it's been a long time, but I am right now going through my last year of my schooling for my um, Swiss nursery degree, and I may be on and off YouTube for that point. So today I'm just doing some very, very simple, a cast video of a Greek-inspired family. Um, as you can see here, I'm making the dad first. Um, I try to like, give him a little bit more tattoos, give him that like, you know, kind of like olive sort of skin tone that most people when they think of Greek, they think Greek people have, but they're also Greeks who are light skinned and can be darker. So yeah, um, so the dad is pretty much, he, he has, he's tatted, he's a little bit more like modern I would say. And I kind of like put him, I kind of imagine him as like being, you know, an eco master sort of um, dealio. So, um, if you want to know what the family's, like, um, family name is, it's, um, Agathon Guleo. If, I'm sorry, I don't speak Greek. If anyone speaks Greek, keep, please give me proper pronunciation because I speak German, I speak English, I speak French. I am dyslexic and don't ask me to speak another language. Um, pretty much the name means, like, one among the long Greek last names. Um, Akthagilosis is a part romantic name that was descended from a historical figure with um, the same moniker it give it is given to sense of historical figure so it's apparently a historical figure in Greek culture I've been to Greece once my mother's been there multiple times and yeah I pretty much like see like he wears glasses I kind of like try to make him a little bit more laid back as like a dad and probably someone who like really cares about his family and he wants to make sure everything. Uh, the reason why I chose his traits, uh, maker, loves the outdoors and family oriented because I kind of imagine like, you know, the person who makes like candles from scratch, the person that, you know, likes to be outside doing his initiatives for eco lifestyle. And of course he loves his family very dearly. I feel like, you know, maybe he had a bad home life as a child and he wants to kind of like, kind of show, hey, I brought my kids to, um, to Evergreen Harvard, and if the Sims team do actually make a Greek-inspired world, I'll be happy. If they make a Swiss-inspired world, I'll be happy. We need more European, like, towns, I think, and not just, like, you know, English, British, I'm um, sorry, towns. We maybe like, more, like, Mediterranean, more Germanic. Heck, even, like, go more towards, um, Russia and get those type of buildings to get more culture, but that's, like, you know, besides the point. Um, I did actually cut the video um, when I was making the wife, but um, <laughs> yeah, I kind of figured it out and I took a sim from the gallery that kind of had like Greek inspired looking. I did change the name to um, Asiya and I tried to look the name, I got too many definitions, but her traits are, they, you'll see in a second, vegetarian, loves the outdoors, and family orientated. Um, I kind of see her like a garden, like I gave her like the freelance botanist sort of aspiration because I feel like she likes to be outside with, you know, her husband, but she's like more like the side, uh, I like to plant flowers, and I did give her the career in the floral arrangement. Quick, so she likes to like, you know, make lots of flowers, but she still grows other plants as well. And I didn't give the buildings because it's too difficult. Um, I gave the building, if I did, if I put them to Henfra and Bagley, I would make them like have simple living and be the freelance, but I put them Evergreen Harbor because if it's more with the dads and hers can like pretty much like go in any world say so yeah I try to make sure that she has like mostly greens and some blues in there from what I remember like putting in her and I try to make it very simple very laid back more country like and I feel like she's not afraid to get dirty if you ask her like she'll go on the ground she will jump in there she'll make sure that everything is done to the best that she can do it so. I guess you can say I made her the nice version of Demeter, the goddess of spring and the harvest. Uh, the reason why I kind of am hinting towards that is because when we get to their daughter, I gave her one of Persephone's many names. Um, in Greek mythology, Persephone kind of has like some multiple names, which could be either Kore, which means like pure. Or it can, or she's Tespona. We don't know exactly, and I kind of like thought, okay, I might as well roll with it because um, if you guys don't know, um, Claire Siobhan like kind of recorded. Um, well, she streamed about two days ago, three days ago, um, Extreme Vampire Challenge, and she decided to make Hades for her um, vampire, her Extreme Vampire Legacy Challenge to fall in love with their child, Persephone. <laughs> So yeah, I want to, okay, I'll go with um, 
pretty much Persephone's other name so I don't copy Claire Siobhan and so that she's taken down. And I would recommend you watching her streams if you can because it's really fun and good. And now we're going on to Corey. Of course, I thought, eh, next to X, no, I'm just going to copy the mom's genetics really quickly. <laughs> and yeah, uh, I said before that Corey's name means like pure maiden. And I gave her treats of good and gloomy. And I kind of made sure I gave her like the things that she's attracted to. I made her attracted to blue eyes and unnatural eyes, black hair. Because I, she uploaded, because Claire Chabon uploaded her version of a teen Hades, who was a vampire for her Extreme Vampire Legacy Challenge, and I um, follow her account on The Sims 4 Gallery. And of course, he came butt naked in my game, and I kind of made him over, so I try to like, make Corey like, very like attracted to those sort of things, so she would go after him. And I did make Corey also slightly taller than most of her family, because I have a slider by the neck, I realize, but it doesn't work all the time. I had to get really close in the detail I, when I did it with her. And yeah, I gave her green eyes, kind of signify also spring. And I did like change her body type to make her a little bit like, not the same coverage as her mother, but like kind of more pear shape, more with like nicer sort of features, softer features, like for a young sort of like maiden type. And I gave her, like, you know, the, one of the new brown swatches which I actually love. is like the ashy brown, I would call it more. And I kind of gave, like, you know, swooping. And I do use a lot of CC because I think it kind of helps the game for more for like, fashion. They have done better with kits, but I feel like kits, at least in kits, personally speaking, like, the clothing kits for ethical and cultural things should have been a free update. That's my personal hot take, but... They need to make money, and pretty much last year, the last half, last quarter of the year, we got kit after kit after kit after kit after kit. Like, bruh, you could give them all those free updates and give us like a stuff pack or an expansion pack towards the end of the year, like you did with Snow Escape. But I think because of the pandemic, or Panini, as some streamers call it, or such, it kind of was hard for like a game pack because they're still mostly working from home, because I think they're mostly based in California. And they have that sort of problem where they can't really be in the office as much. So, yeah, I think that's like more or less the biggest problem for them versus like, you know. But still, they could have like made things like a free update. And I kind of see that EA has been improving of like being more straightforward with us as best as they can. But it doesn't always work. Like, there's still some things, like, they can't probably do. I kind of said in an update in, like, of my past video that pretty much I believe they need to, well, make sort of, like, you know, some ads and features, but things that I don't think can be done, like, make the aliens from Drain 2 by 2 also work well with the aliens from Get to Work. Like, kind of combine them, like, oh, here's sort of more different types of aliens for Get to Work, or, like, you know, vice versa. And for you guys also know, I do play behind um, the scenes, um, my version of the Extreme Vampire Legacy, and I'm right now on Gen 3, and that is a whole mess in itself. Um, the founder died, which I count as Gen 1. I know some say, oh, Gen 1 counts when their kid's born. No, I count that as Gen 1, and I went on Gen 3, and pretty much Vlad and Judith Ward had, like, four kids. Two of their kids are drop dead gorgeous because of just their genetics because because judith and blood i think are way too extremes that they their features somewhat balanced out is what i see but sometimes it doesn't always work because they have two twin toddlers right now and um well i, I i'm just gonna say they have large chins the other two's had like well the first one which is the one that i made gen 2 marry um, their son Francesco, he's gorgeous. But now we're gonna go on to Magnus, her um, little boy. Yeah, I kind of like imagine him as a wizard or a spellcaster, because I plan to make Corey also a vampire and want to make him like a spellcaster, like you know, for them to kind of turn to the cults when. Well, I want to turn him to a cult when he's a teen, and we turn Corey into a cult a little bit later in the game, and I may like do like a current household update with um, the Agatholeof 
shoot, I said the name wrong again, but yeah. I kind of made the geek. I kind of made like blues and oranges and reds. Um, I put them at Evergreen Harvard, so they kind of like are one of the very few. And I've noticed this thing that, um, all right, guys, I want to thank you for watching the video and see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>